right, we're back for spring prep video number two. I'm not really sure what's going to be included in this video because my day is probably going to change from what I think it's going to be anyways. I want to work on the front of this uh, show plots, getting that seed bed put together. I know that i got to clean out a couple of Martin houses with Wayne. That's the first thing that I'm going to do here today. Um, and then at some point we're supposed to be laying some pipe down. But the guy that's bringing his back over, who also runs the trencher, which you saw me unload in the last video, uh, his excavator's got a broken hole, or backhoe's got a broken hose on it, so he has to run to town this morning and get that hose fixed, and then I'm supposed to be getting a phone call on when to meet him over at the other shop. So, I'm going to finish my coffee, which I borrowed my girlfriend's coffee mug this morning. Thanks, Molly. And then... Uh, and then we'll get at it. Stick around. Okay, first task of the day is done. Got that birdhouse cleaned out. The guy that runs the the trencher hasn't called me yet, and I think it's a little too wet to disc that hay ground right now. Um, so I'm gonna try and grade that a little better. Get work's done. Uh, as you can tell, I got it graded up here. This this is our unload system for our dryer bin, and usually we back a truck straight up like this. And this used to be a really wet spot, so the goal was to move the drainage, which was right here, over a little ways, plus widen the corner for going around this way. And then the other thing is, is that when we're putting corn into this bin, the auger, which is one of those right there, sits right here and then it has a swing out hopper and I would always go on off a dip. So try and make that better. So basically rock is going to be at some point taken and brought around here like this. So this will be rocked up here, make this corner a whole lot nicer and make this area drier because that was just holding like swampy stinky dirt uh, if you've ever been around it you know what I'm talking about it's like stale muck but now I guess I'm kind of just playing the sit and wait game so wait until I get my next instructions because I don't really have a whole lot to do well I got a lot to do but a whole lot to do in between when now and when I can get to tiling because I'm still waiting on the guy to show up to do some tiling well, we might as well eat lunch while we wait, huh, bud? Sit. Oh, that was really good. Hey, try again. Oh my gosh. He's failing. Wasting my almonds. If you can't hear it, we've started digging. 
right there is the double wall with some six inch where we're going to reduce the five inch tile he's starting to dig the trench where we can lay that double wall in you got to put the double wall in it's stronger that way if it gets it's stronger because at the end of the run it's usually shallower under the ground and then it can withstand getting run over at a shallower depth if that makes sense to you guys but i'm going up the hill grab the crummer a tape measure and the bobcat and we're going to lay pipe We got run number one done. We're working on the second run right here. It was a heck of a start because we hit a spring basically immediately, so the sidewalls were just collapsing in, and I had to get in there and dig it out with a shovel. So sorry you guys missed that bit. Uh, but what this thing has in it for an engine is a Detroit, and it's a two-stroke diesel. So that's why it sounds like it's running like that that actually its RPMs aren't really up that high, it's just the fact that it's a two-stroke. Kind of interesting. Bottom, I don't take the top. That way, if it hits it, it come off. Try not to put a whole bunch of dirt in my hole. I'm doing a pretty good job of putting dirt in my hole. Flag's where I want it to be. So I gotta figure out where to cut it. By dirt, I mean clay. So what Steve's doing, he's down there backfilling in the spots that I couldn't backfill with the do with the bobcat because it was just spinning. Problems of a wheeled machine versus a track machine. Now we're getting ready to do the offset for the other inlet because you offset the inlets that are in line. That way, if that inlet's got a problem, it doesn't plug the whole run. This here is what I mean by an offset. So this pipe right here is the main line that runs up to that um, inlet where it terminates from the run, where it dumps down there. So this line right here, if we put the inlet in line right there, and this inlet plugged, it would plug the run all the way up to there, making this line unusable. So if you shoot this Y offset here and something happens to this inlet, like it gets broken off full of mud and stops draining, then the main line right here is still draining. That's why it's a offset inlet. 
Guys, it's gonna be it for the night. Um, as you can tell, my dad got a terrace built. And we got that dug in over there. But I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. So thank you for watching spring farming vlog number two. Still haven't figured out what I'm calling these things. Should write that down. But uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Consider subscribing to the channel.